friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intermission cataract let us observe the surgical steps the main incision has been made and now one paracentesis is being made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and now an air bubble is being injected into the anterior chamber and underneath this air bubble trypan blue dye is applied over all parts of the anterior capsule this is a totally unedited surgery and you are going to observe each and every step of the surgery the dye has been washed out now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber Yes, with two percent HPMC, you can manage intermesen contracts very well. And now, one more paracentesis is being made on the right side of the main incision, about two and a half clock hours away. And now, a twenty-six case band needle is introduced. A C flap, a curved flap, is made. and then this c flap is converted into a mini rexis that is a small rexis this is an opening to aspirate some cortical lens matter to reduce the intralenticular pressure yes if you aspirate if you remove some cortical lens matter through this mini rexis what happens the intralenticular pressure gets reduced drastically and the next steps the surgery is very easy and predictable i'm using a 23 gauze simco to remove the cortical lens matter and now 2% spmc is injected again and then uh, with the help of a fana scissor a small nick is made like this then i take the iterata and enlarge this mini rexis into an adequate sized rexis you can see the cataract is not very hard nuclear sclerosis is about grade 3 or grade 3 plus and an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 mm or 5.75 mm is met and now the hand base is introduced into the anterior chamber the machine being used is oatly cataract 3 to percent spmc has been injected into the anterior chamber and now the tip of the faco hand base is introduced and bevel down some superficial lens matter is removed the hand piece is turned and now watch direct job bury the tip completely into the substance of the nucleus hold the nucleus firmly and chop it rotate the nucleus hold it another place and make another job and rotate the lens matter and chop the other hemi nucleus 
So the nucleus has been divided into four pieces. Each piece is then emulsified using ultrasonic energy which is 60% in this case and then the pieces are removed. Vacuum that has been used in this case is 450 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Yes, nucleus and epinucleus has been managed. Visco is again injected. Visco means 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected and these, there is a lot of cortex. This cortical matter is to be removed now. Using the 23 Gauss Simco cannula again to remove the cortical matter and see how easily it comes out. Yes, we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial IA. It doesn't matter what you use, you just have to clean the cortex very well. And the posterior capsule has to be polished nicely. And now I'm using the irrigating probe of bimanual IA to polish the posterior capsule to some more extent. Here it is. The fluid jet is swept over the posterior capsule and I can see some cortical fibers at 6 o'clock. This is hydroimplantation. The lens is implanted keeping the antechamber formed by irrigating fluid. And now Whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartis is irrigating, irrigated out. It comes out through the main incision. And now, this is a bit of moxifloxacin. And then, the side pores are hydrated. to make these wounds waterproof. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The cortical fibers at 6 o'clock is removed. And then the anterior chamber is formed nicely. Then the intraocular pressure at the conclusion of surgery should be on the higher side. The integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.